Hello my darlings, Sandra here and welcome to Monday. It's just nearly lunchtime and I thought I would film a really quick video. I'll try and keep, keep it quick anyway. <laughs> Probably won't be though. Inside my closet because the my my YouTube channel is called my colourful boho closet so I figured you may as well see the inside of it and the reason I called it my colourful boho closet is because of really it was because of the way I painted it <laughs> but it is colourful anyway and I just wanted to show you some items I've got whether they've been thrifted or um I've made or I've purchased and I'll also tell you because I am a plus size more curvier girl where I bought them from because sometimes finding nicer clothes or just nice clothes is really difficult when you are not a regular size that's not to say that I don't think that finding regular size is difficult I, I'm sure that all sizes have their own problems but if I want to, say, go to Macy's and find something nice in the plus size section, they all look like granny clothes. And even though some of my clothes do look like granny clothes, at least they look pretty. <laughs> so, so I want them to look granny and vintage, but not, you know, old. And for another reason that I don't realise or I don't understand, should I say, is that when it comes to to shop selling plus size why do they always use the fabrics that are polyester and stuff like that you know i like more natural fabrics i i just prefer natural fabrics i'm always warm so finding more natural fabrics is also difficult i think when you're plus size that said if you scout around and you do a lot a lot of research etsy is a great place ebay Poshmark is great. You can pick up some good plus size items and then a couple of designers that I love. The first one is Johnny Was. I've loved the brand for a long, long time, despite the prices. Don't like the prices, but <laughs> I like the brand. And I have the first item I bought. We may as well just move straight on to the first item I bought. Um, about five, six years ago was this topper. And it's all embroidered. It was Johnny Was and it's a 1X. And, you know, I'll give them their dues. When you go and you look for a Johnny Was item, they will also have it in a plus size. Most times, not every time, but most time they'll have a good selection. But it is a, just a plus size version of that dress. Say so if you find a dress you like, they will have it in plus size the same. They haven't altered it too much to make it granny-like. So they offer some great sizes. They go up to a 3X. And um, I normally take an extra large XXL. Yeah, I can fit in both of those. So that's good. Two items I picked up in the sale this year. What I do now, and I'm going to do another video on the Marie Kondo way that I've been following for a couple of years and know it's become popular now um, but that and minimalizing my wardrobe I did start three years ago so because I don't buy as many of the fast fashion things now what I'll do is save my money up until the end of the year use birthday money Christmas money and then I can buy a couple of the items out the sale because Neiman Marcus have a great sale online and so do Johnny Was. They had a great Black Friday one and New Year. So I was able to pick up a couple of items at really reduced prices. Now the prices are still expensive even though they're reduced. But they're going to last me a long, long time. And they're exactly what I want. So I figured that I'd saved up enough to add these to my closet. So the first one is this dress. And this is an XXL you get the slip with it slip was a slightly tighter on it but that's okay but the xxl fits just nice and i will do a whole a try on video as well so i can wear that with leggings in the winter and then in the in the summer just you know without leggings you get to see my pasty white legs then 
And then the other one is the green one. And that's all embroidered. And this is also an XXL. And I am between a 1X and 2X, so that's how nice and generous it was sized. Another thing I picked up in the sale was this kimono jacket, which is beautiful. This is more summer, spring and summer, going into fall. It's very lightweight. I've managed to get that in a large and it fits nice because what I wanted to be able to do was just wear a cami under it. And then it has a tie, a little tie. So I can wear that with maybe a pair of leggings and... And I say leggings, I don't really like jeans that much. I don't like things that press into my tummy. I've always had sort of kind of tummy issues. So I don't like anything that's going to feel uncomfortable. So leggings will definitely. But that will also go over any dress as well. And the last one for this year. <laughs> this is a Christmas present of my husband. I did return a couple of items that I previously bought just to get this one item because it was in the sale. I've been after one of the long hooded um, sweater jackets probably ever since I first saw them five years ago, but they're, they're about five, six hundred dollars. That's just a ridiculous price. So I waited and waited and waited and then they had a sale at the Johnny Was website and then they had a one day where you get 30% off so I picked it up for substantially cheaper and this will last me the rest of my life it's gonna have to <laughs> so that is my main coat in my closet now and I love it I mean I, I love everything about it my husband doesn't <laughs> but then he doesn't like anything I wear so I so I'm okay um couple of things I do like uh, what I do like to do with my clothes is to make them last four seasons so whatever I get I want to be able to wear throughout all the seasons just by layering up the sari skirts are wraparound ones and they're reversible so I have three of those two longer and then one shorter it's turned over there so it's a bit longer than that and the way I can wear them is obviously in the summer I, I, I like to wear the, a, a pair of long down to my knee sort of shorts anyway but I will wear a lighter pair of shorts under them and then a cami top and a t-shirt in just a plain colour that's how I wear them in the winter what I, what I what I can do is in the fall especially wear a long pair of leggings with some over the knee boots you know in a jacket but three of the things that I have made are these waistcoats so I'll buy the denim in second hand I got a goodwill buy it and then just pretty much match as my husband would say I would mess the jacket up and then this was I think this was the first one I ever made and I lined it as well that's definitely one of my favorite if I'm honest um, another good place when you're plus size Poshmark I, I know it's been going a while but I didn't really realize what Poshmark was to be honest because I saw the advert I saw the Louis Vuitton shoes and I thought that's never gonna happen I'm not spending that money however that's not what it is and once you join Poshmark it doesn't cost anything to join and then plug in all your sizes and stuff like that and then I go to the main page click on dresses and it literally comes up with a shed load of dresses in my size and it's great and people and they're, they're really cheap I like I also like with Poshmark how they pay you because if you find something so I found two dresses this one which is a midi dress and then this one 
So I offered less than they'd put on there. I think I got picked them both up for about $10, $15 each. And then the person selling them doesn't get the money. It's not like eBay. They don't get the money until you've had the item, you like it. If you're going to keep it, you go back online, say, yes, I'm going to keep it. Or you press the button and then they get paid. So if you have an item that is not in the description, like you can sometimes with eBay, um, you've not lost your money and waiting to get your money back. I like that. And um, I've got to say another thing with Poshmark that I like is that when I've purchased things, the ladies, all the gentlemen, I suppose, they've been ladies that I've bought from that have sold them, have put like little gifts in the package as well with a thank you card. How nice is that? So I thought that was nice. So these are, I call them vintage dresses. They're second hand, but only had a wedding to go to this is definitely a vintage dress from the 40s I believe the blue one and I couldn't believe it fit me when I bought it I mean I always check the sizes it's a very 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 rare to find vintage proper vintage dresses even if it says a size 18 that's a size 18 going by the 1940s which is probably a 12 these days so I went by the the measurements and it fit it came I've had it a couple of years I love it and I wear it with this cream dress I wear them both together as a pair they're both vintage they both fit I mean, you really do have to look around and go by the size in and before you buy anything, absolutely make sure that you know your size in. I have very broad shoulders, so it doesn't matter that sometimes I think, oh, I wish I was smaller and stuff like that. If, you know, like I did when I was younger, I don't now because quite frankly, I have huge broad shoulders. I've got the shoulders of a linebacker. I'm never going to be a size eight. So... Once you accept that, I mean, I'm not saying that you, you know, well, from my personal experience, I found that once I accepted that this, this is my size, I'm good, I'm happy with it. I actually became happier all round <laughs> as a person. So, um, so that's just really a quick tour of my closet. I didn't want to go too much into it because I, because I've got you know there's certain there's time a time limit on it i did just wanted to show you my hat so i'm going to swivel this round so i have i love hats this is my favorite this one i bought from etsy <clears throat> i love etsy it's from a place called vacation house and it makes me feel I could just see my dad saying now I look like an elf and that's okay. <laughs> it makes me feel like I've got dreads. It is actually, um, I think for people with dreads, I'm not sure, but I, I love it anyway. I'll show you the back. It makes me feel like I've got long hair. Not that I want to have long hair, but I mean, if I had dreads, I would be great. But So this is my favourite hat. This is my second favourite hat, which is a hat that I picked up from an antique shop it's my raspberry beret <laughs> and this is my second favorite one so that's just a quickie on some of my hats and then I've just got a few more so that was really a I'd like to say a quick video but it's still 15 minutes long just inside my closet and I hope you liked it I will try and put some um, information in the description box. I'm still up and running and trying to know how to do stuff and download stuff. So bear with me, please. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. You can comment if you want. <laughs> please, nice comment. And hit that subscribe button. And I will do another video again for you guys.